Back where he belongs after a year of rehab, Zoo Tampa released Chandler the manatee back into the wild. His survival is more important than ever. Our Liz Crawford explains why. Sea cow, gentle giant, we call manatees a lot of names. This one is Chandler. I want to see him get out there, but then on the other hand, I hope he can find his food okay and that he doesn't get stressed out again. Chandler's release is personal for Joy Raymond. She's the one who found him one year ago at a park in Bradenton. He was circling and his nose was a tan color, so we knew that he had stress problems. She called FWC, who took him to Zoo Tampa for rehab. Turned out Chandler had cold stress syndrome, which is similar to hypothermia. Even though they're really large, they actually don't have a lot of fat to protect them from cold water. He was severely underweight. They're not eating, um, their body shuts down, they usually kind of go off and hunker and they start to get sicker and sicker. One year later and Chandler's made a full recovery and was ready to get back in the bed. I was so happy because, you know, manatees are really having a problem now. Chandler's release offered a bright spot after what was the worst year on record for manatee deaths. To have such a deadly year has been very discouraging and disheartening. The Sunshine State saw a record number of 1,101 manatees die, almost doubling the rate from 2020 when there were 637 deaths. Look out for manatees in your backyard. Like Joy Raymond, who called for help. One more manatee out on the water is the first step. He is almost at the point where he can go out and, and be a breeder and, and hopefully create more manatees. If you see a dead, sick, or injured manatee, you are asked to contact FWC's Wildlife Alert Hotline. That number, 888-404-3922, or by dialing pound FWC on your cell phone.